Oh, yes. Oh, that is so fun. Oh my god, that is the coolest thing. Ready to see what's inside? Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. I have a double review of these beautiful Lanakai ukuleles. Now these are PR samples, these were sent to me. This video is not sponsored. Hopefully you find my reviews to be um, E-E-U, entertaining, educational, or you find the information useful. Here we have a concert and a tenor quilted maple ukulele from Lanakai. The tenor has 18 frets while the concert has 16. These ukes have slotted headstocks, Grover geared tuners, hidden scarf joints, Diderio EJ88 strings, Fishman Kula preamp and tuner, a wider neck profile for player comfort, so 37.4 millimeter nut width, chrome strap buttons, walnut fingerboard, new bone nut and saddle, eight hole loop tie bridge, a limited lifetime warranty, and all come with a soft shell case. Both tenor and concert models have a cutaway so that you can access the upper part of the fretboard more easily. The concert is priced at $359 and the tenor is priced at $389. So here for a quick easy string change, you could actually use this as a traditional tie bridge. You can just loop it through. There's a little bit of ABS binding around the tie block so that the wood doesn't get dented over time. Depending upon how the light hits the instrument, it can either look like a cool tone purple or even more so warm toned. One of the main buyers at Hyde Music said that they actually went through three different purple stains to find the perfect purple. sustain. There you go. love the intonation of Lanakai ukes. It's just, I tune it once, nothing I have to adjust on the upper part of the fretboard. Uh, it's just, oh, it's in tune right away. I never have to worry about it. ukulele that I've ever played that has the Fishman Kula preamp when I plug it in I call it a plug and play situation rather than a plug and pray <laughs> situation. Anytime I've played with a Fishman Kula preamp it's always put out enough signal where the sound technicians they're able to control the sound and they don't feel like they have to push me through the system so much where it might cause feedback or it's just the signal is so low that it would need an extra like an external preamp where this one it has everything built in. You can adjust the volume. You can also adjust the bass, mids, the treble. All of the Lanakai ukuleles that I have tried in the past 
they have all been very well finished in my opinion. The edges look yeah, they look beautiful. There's just no raw edges. From the triple book matching from the front, sides, back, just a lot of attention to detail. It's bound very well. The fretboard is also bound, but it's just something to be aware of if you're looking for something that's just going to withstand the heat and humidity or even the dryness of where you live. This could be a really great uke to consider. For $389 with the sturdy case has the Fishman Kula preamp and all of the other bells and whistles. It's beautiful. And I wanted to get the initial reactions of my friends just to think about like, okay, my initial reaction was, wow, that's really pretty. And just to see their reaction to it as was the same as mine. I mean, it's just stunning. It really draws you in. Some things to consider that some people may not like is the glossy finished neck. Now, some players, they don't mind it. Other players, they would prefer something that is more of a matte or a satin finish. Some people might find this cumbersome. I don't find it cumbersome, but I just thought maybe you should be aware of that if that's something that you don't enjoy. Now let's get to the weight of the ukulele. This does feel a little heavier and that also may be because it has the Fishman Kula preamp, it has the electronics in it that may be just making it just a little bit heavier. Now it's not so incredibly heavy where you feel like man this is unbalanced, this is really hard to control. I don't think so especially with the strap buttons. It's to me, it's not a deal breaker because it's so easy to play, in my personal opinion. What do you think about the price, the color, the design choices? Do you have a Lanakai? Have you ever tried a Lanakai before? My favorite part of YouTube is your opinions. I really want to hear what you think about these ukuleles because I think that your opinions are incredibly important. I learn from you guys all of the time. And that's my actual favorite part of YouTube. It's hearing from you. So I look forward to hearing your comments and I love you. Bye.